peace, good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome to Dictation. Simps, fellas, brothers, men, how many times do you have to learn that women don't do things for you? You ever see a woman wearing something just totally wrong? And you want to let her know you want to correct her. Baby, that's not doing it. And she's like, I ain't do this for you. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or you want to say, well, you know, uh, you just want to give it a look. You, 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 you assume that they care about what a man thinks because, you know, why would a man want to walk around with something looking raggedy? You know? And vice versa because females got ways or things that dudes do that they don't like. But what cracks me up is they have no problem letting you know what they don't do for you, what they don't do for us. Which is why I say that they don't care about us. They don't care about what we think. They don't care about what we feel. They don't care about opinion, our opinion. So I was on Facebook one time and, and a dude, a simp, asked the woman or the women of the group, how do you like our beards? Huh? Why would you ask a woman how she likes your beard? She don't grow your beard, you know? So it was just funny because it seemed that even though they don't care anything about us or our opinion, we still care about theirs. We still, you know, wanna, wanna, we still wanna figure out how to make them happy, how to get them, how to please them, you know? how to chase that thing you know it never fails and so I've came to a conclusion that maybe there's a point and I don't know if it's how many women or how many times the frequency but I think there's a limit that we need to reach where we we don't have sex you know I'm not saying be absent but I'm just saying that I think there's a number that a man reaches where he's had too much sex where he's had so much sex that it's become a necessity to where he starts to act thirsty and simplified. You know, where he starts to do things that he normally wouldn't do, where he starts to lower his standards because he's had so much sex that he can't do without it. He doesn't know what he'd do if a woman told him no. He doesn't know what, what, how he'd live the rest of his life. You know what I'm saying? You know, but that's just one idea. You know, dig that. So anyway, Something else I was wondering though, or thinking about as far as who are these dudes that are going around wearing rompers or half shirts and got people thinking that this is some new craze that the fashion world has that men are gonna need to adopt towards, they need to start trying to wear now. What the hell? Are you serious? Half shirts? Come on man, and then they gotta give them some little some little girly name crop tops a, a, a crop top it's called a half shirt why would you call it a crop top why would you not call it a half shirt it's a half shirt which half the half that would make it a cummerbund you idiot anyway it's a half shirt so they got these dudes wearing half shirts one of them was you know a rapper a football player and I guess two dudes were models now I understand as a man I've worn a half shirt but a half shirt was when it was hot and I was finna do something athletic. Example, Rocky III. Apollo Creed wore a half shirt when they were in LA racing on the beach and he beat Rocky, you know. Another example, football. When you play football and it's a summertime sport, football begins in the summertime, you know, late July, early August, August, September, you know, it begins in the summertime. It's quite hot and humid, you know, especially for those in Southern California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas and such. You know, it's really, really warm. So, you know, why would you want a whole bunch of clothes on? But you need to have a shirt to keep your arms and your shoulders from rubbing against the shoulder pads when you sweat and causing you to chafe or chaff or peel or blister you know what I'm saying so you wear a shirt 
but you don't need a shirt around your, around your ribs area. You know what I'm saying? So you cut it in half so that the jersey with holes in it can, can give you that breeze. Hence, half shirts. So one of the dudes was a, a football player wearing a half shirt. So that makes perfect sense. It wasn't a fashion thing. That was just what he did. So don't get it twisted. We're not going to start wearing half shirts and, and rompers. You get that out your, out, your, out your head. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sorry. I wish somebody would. <laughs> that would be quite funny. I would take my camera out and take a picture of you. You know what I'm saying? And if, you, if you're not Cam Newton or Kanye West, you know what I'm saying? You silly. But anyway, it's just uh, it's funny because I see these little fashion things as, a, as an example for people trying to promote an agenda to get men to not identify as men or question what we identify as men. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think anybody that has suggested a half shirt or a romper, whoa, huh, showed up to the last man meeting or the last patriarchy party meeting. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we be having those. You know what I'm saying? The patriarchy party be having meetings. Gotta pay your dues. You know what I mean? So at the last, at the last one we had, you know, uh, nobody, um, had anything in the agenda or, or, or I didn't check anything in the minutes that mentioned rompers or half shirts <laughs> crop tops <laughs> you know what I'm saying so um that's no no -uh, sorry uh, um on behalf of the dictator and the uh, generation X men you know what I'm saying of the world I, I, I deem um, halter tops, crop tops, whatever the fuck, uh, rompers, half shirts, and all that. Outside of being worn in an athletic uh, uh, environment for athletic purposes, hence Apollo Creed smoking Rocky on the beach in L.A. in Rocky 3 when he had to beat Apollo, uh, 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 had to beat Clubber Lang, and the only way to beat him was to get the eye of the tiger. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's what a half shirt is necessary. It's okay. You get a half shirt pass. You know what I'm saying? And but other than that, man, keep that shirt low. You know what I'm saying? And and especially if you if you got a belly, man, you, you're not supposed to. That's you know, look, dude, yo, man, we body shame. Be ashamed of your belly. Get rid of that belly. Unless you sit there and, and, and you a sumo wrestler and you know you you're using it for a purpose, man, get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? It's holding you down. It's doing bad things to you. It, 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 it's decreasing your testosterone. So, with all that said, have a better day today than you did yesterday. And we'll try to have a better tomorrow than we do today. Do 50 push-ups, some crunches, some dips, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, live up. Be yourself, be a man, be happy, be smile, be smile, be smile, be proud. And uh, if anybody don't like what I say, you know what to do. Open your mouth and let me know how this dictates.